and I am live again. So, um, hello everyone. So, and today I have uh, another movie review for today, even though this is already midnight in my area. So, um, and uh, today's movie review is a movie that I watched for the very first time, actually. Yes, for the very first time. Yep, that's why. Right. This is a German movie, which another actor that I watched from him. Yep. You know what actor I'm talking about? Yep. I'm going to show you in a couple seconds. So, this is a German movie that I watched for the first time, by the way. And this is a 2003 film. And you know what I'm gonna, movie I'm going to talk about? Yep, that's why. Right. As you can see, the title movie I'm going to talk about is, yep, Goodbye Lenin. Yes, this is another Daniel Buhu that I watch, by the way. Yep, another one that I watch is My Words, My Life, My Love, which, that's a good movie, by the way. This is not one that I watch, so this one is not have Daniel Buhu of it, but this one is also has Catherine Sars, and also with Maria Simone, Chupan Kamatova, and also with Fuen Lucas, and uh, the cameo from Martin Brombach. Yes, Martin Brombach, he has a cameo for that one, believe it or not. Which I don't think he's mentioned the opening credits. Yes, Martin Brombach. Which yes, Martin Brombach. Yes, he's a, he has a cameo by the way. So basically, it's about like a, a like an ordinary guy. So by the way, in the beginning of the film, which when she, when he was a little, so. He basically wants to be an astronaut, so cosmonaut. Yes, cosmonaut. So basically, it's about like a like a for that. It's about like a brother and probably sister, and uh, his father. Um, yes, his father Daniel Bruho did not come to. Uh, for probably the last couple of years, so basically it's about like a like a grown up man. So basically it's about like a a protesting or something like that. And then later on, her mother looking at it and spoil. I wonder one one spoil what happened to her. Yeah, she. Oh uh, yeah, she's fall down and she's a coma for literally one and a half year. So basically it's about like a probably like a like a East or West Germany or something like that. Which is uh she's she starts a coma in October nineteen eighty nine. She's didn't wake up until like Probably middle of the middle of the nineties or something like that. So basically, it's about like a um like a mother. Yeah, which is a uh, basically she don't remember anything. So it's about like a. Which is uh, I forgot to talk about is, yeah, is a uh, there's a little bit stock footage of the. Building wall collapse of communism, something like that, and then basically she don't know what happened to it, by the way. And then basically it's about like a. This is probably set on East Berlin from October 1989 and October 1990, by the way, like over like a, a year or something like that. So yeah. That's what basically the plot of that movie. So my thoughts of it. Well, um, this 
is actually pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. German films from 2003. Yeah, this is not an actor that I watched from that one. And, uh, yeah, because the other ones I watch is My Words, My Lie, My Love, by the way. And then this is another one, which I know this one is a very well known, well, a uh, black. This is a very well known foreign language movie, and I can a little bit see why. Because the acting is actually pretty damn good, actually. Da Daniel Brühl as a as a axe corner. He's easily the best part of the film, and also Catherine Saz as as the mother. Yep, the mother of Christian Connor. She's pretty good in that one. And also Maria Simon plays as the daughter or sister of Ariane Connor. She's also pretty good in that one as well. And also Chupan Kamadova as Laura, like a nurse at the hospital. She's also pretty good as well, by the way. And uh, the direction by Wolfgang Becker was pretty good. And also the win also by Wolfgang Becker was also pretty good. And also the winning also by Wolfgang Becker, he's also pretty good. And also the cinematography. Man, this is the best cinematography I've ever seen, by the way. The editing was pretty good. And, uh, yeah. So, the ending for the last couple minutes of it, and wow. I'm not going to explain what happened to it, so I'm going to say, it's, wow. Wow. So, yeah. Goodbye, Lenin. Such a very good film. Yeah, it's already 8 minutes. I'm laughing. And I gave it a 5 out of 5. So, yeah. And that's it for my uh, movie review for uh, Goodbye Lenin. And yes, by the way, I gave it like a 5 out of 5 this one. And I'll see you guys in my uh, next video. Or probably tomorrow's video. Peace out.